college football has been absolutely nuts this past week. Wow. A lot so of wild stuff happened. happened this weekend. A lot of close calls, a lot of losses. Upsets, yeah. Yeah. So, where do we even begin? Uh, we can, let's get, okay. So, I can address our trash bright and early. Ooh. Um. Oh, wait, let me, let me uh, introduce it as Michigan. Wait, who did you guys play again? Bowling, Bowling Green, Green 31-7. Got or 31-6, excuse me. You got it. Two field goals. Uh... Look, so, because <laughs> as I was watching this game, I, th- I think my my description will be a little bit different from what it is now. As big of a, a, as a disaster that it felt, I think it would be equally disastrous to then be like, okay, let's start sounding the alarm bells. Because the sample size that we have to the contrary of anything that was negative in this game it's so much bigger that we have towards the positive. So, right off the bat, JJ McCarthy three interceptions. I don't, I don't know if we'll get that. To be, especially versus a team like this, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it felt like the first one probably just a good play. He didn't see it. Guy was tracking him the whole way. Fell off at the last minute and and, and picked him off. Sharon Moore said the route was too deep. At, at halftime when they asked him about it I don't know about all that either way didn't look like he saw him the second one was a terrible throw it was just it was awful it was underthrown the DB undercut it took it from him and then the last one which let me know that it was just a fucking terrible night and he probably needed to just go sit down mm-hmm. was the one where he said he was trying to throw the ball out of bounds and do Charles Woodson did out the air and he was like okay go sit him down now yeah. like it, it's getting ugly let's just stop this yeah like it's obviously not his night the running game had gotten way better which was which was was so disappointing because like we finally started to get the running game on track donovan edwards even had some decent runs they weren't long 20 yard runs they were let me stick my nose up in here and get six yards so i can get some positive momentum going yards Mm -hmm. which was encouraging because now at least he's making the right decisions that's step one Step two is let's start breaking a few of those so we can get some longer runs. But the first step of that was to making sure he was putting his head in the right position where he was going where he needed to go. Mm-hmm. All of that was encouraging. But then the the, the turnovers just kind of kind of make your 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 stomach turn. Even the touchdown pass to Cornelius Johnson, he like it, did, it. it didn't feel right, man. Like he said, well, I knew I had a guy on him who was covering him with the cast. So I was just trying to give CJ a, a chance. That don't mean put it in jeopardy. That means throw it up. Did, bro, I almost picked that off. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it was just it was too much shit going on. He was trying to do too much. I didn't particularly like the play calling this game, which was weird because Sharon Moore was back and he was supposed to be the head guy. I don't want to read too much into it about his head coaching ability, but it just wasn't it wasn't the greatest first half. And then some of the stuff that was wrong bled over into the second half, even though we were still scoring. Mm. So it was just a very odd game to kind of watch. I was watching it on the road. I was visiting family yesterday. We kind of left Cleveland during halftime. So mm. I caught the tail end of the game, mm-hmm. like, on my phone. And then as I was pulling back up, the Colorado game was starting. So, But it, 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 it felt weird. But at the same time, to have a take like oh well now michigan's not favored to win the big 10 oh now michigan doesn't look like the big 10 and the best team in the big 10 yeah, from this just, week like you know that you you, you coming on strong yeah man you're being very reactionary yeah and so like i i, I don't i don't want to be that even though i was feeling a little bit of that in the moment as it was happening taking some time to step back from it and, and realizing this is week three mm-hmm. of an out of conference game versus a clearly I- inferior P- opponent shout out to scott leffler you know but an inferior opponent that you still ended up beating by three scores and jj's allowed to have a bad game I-, I think one like now it's a little disappointing even still because of the streak that he was on and a lot of other guys well i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it because you would like to say the guys around him performed well but there was a lot of struggles from the from the top five this weekend, from yeah. all, all virtually all the quarterback. Well, maybe I didn't see Caleb Williams play. So this week, 
J, uh, Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is obviously coming back. Mm-hmm. And we just saw J.J. have a bad game. Mm-hmm. Do you think against Rutgers they're going to go back to focusing on establishing the run and, you know, obviously a lot more. So Blake Rutgers Corman, has been Donald playing Edwards. good ball. Rutgers has actually been playing good ball. I think they're 3-0 and and the defenses look pretty good. So I expect them to try to take the run away right off the jump. I don't think they're going to have the opportunity to say, okay, let's kind of take take the the weight off of J.J. this week and let him work himself in. I think the game is going to dictate that they throw the ball early right now and, and you know, do it now. I think that's what the game is going to dictate. So gift and a curse, right? Curse in, in that you're not really – you don't have time to rest on your laurels and, and kind of work them back into rhythm. But a gift because he's going to be forced to perform right now. Mm-hmm. Like from jump the following week, we're going to ask you to be what you had been the first two weeks. So, uh, and if he's, you know, he's the guy we think he is, he should be able to rise to the occasion. I don't think that uh, Greg Schiano, though, is going to sit there and be die by a million cuts and sure. just have them bleed the clock out all night. So, 